Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Diego with the lovely Karina here in Bogota, Colombia. This is your motivational K-1 visa video, okay? If you have not filed your K-1 visa, please watch our videos. Please watch our videos. Prepare yourself. Don't just put together a sloppy package and mail it off to the lockbox and hope that immigration will approve your visa if you've put zero effort and zero work into putting your visa package together, okay? If you put a lot of work into your visa package, if you submit a strong visa package that's got communications between you and your fiance over at least a year at a minimum, if you've put it together in a cover sheet you put a nice cover sheet together identifying each separate part of your visa package. When immigration get it, they can flip through it quickly and easily without any hassle. You don't submit them a little cheesy little packet of, of papers in a little folder that's got dog ears on it. When they get it, they'll set it over here and go to the next visa package which is professional. Put together a professional visa package. Okay. Okay, so what do I mean by a professional visa package? What the heck does that mean, Diego? Now, Karina, okay, she's degreed up. She's got four years of college. She's more intelligent, far more intelligent than me, okay? But I'm the sponsor, and I'm responsible for putting the visa package together. Now, right here is a binder with document protectors, okay? And this is called binder number one in binder number one are all the immigration forms the for the, the the uscis form i-129f the i-130 was it the 134 the affidavit of support i put in i included the g325 biographic data page but it's not required but i put it in there because the more stuff you've got and the more easier it is for immigration officer to adjudicate your case the quicker your case will move through the through the pipeline okay so what you know what what's in binder number two what well, we submitted i submitted three binders four binders of information in binder number two now this is a year's worth of communication between Karina and I. When I'm in Florida, when I'm in Florida, okay, I am talking to Karina on the phone in WhatsApp. Put this WhatsApp icon on your uh, application on your phone. And then at the end of the day, when I get done talking with Karina, which could be an hour or two hours, I print, print, print the communication, okay? So right here is about 350 pages of WhatsApp chats and emails and Yahoo Messenger chats between Karina and I when I'm in Florida. Okay, now, right now, I'm in Bogota, Colombia. So I don't have to call Karina on the phone. She's right here. Hola, Karina, ¿cómo estás? Tu bien, mi amor. Oh, mi lega. Okay, am I gonna do that? No. I'm right here. So how do I prove to immigration that I'm with Karina in Bogota, Colombia? Well, tonight we're gonna go out to dinner, probably a nice restaurant, and I will get the receipt from the dinner and use my credit card because when I use my credit card, that's a state stamp that Je you know, Diego Ross is in Colombia. And I take the receipt and I tape it to a piece of white paper and I put it in a binder of evidence for while I'm here. And I plan on staying in Colombia until Karina's visa gets approved or denied, whatever. But it's going to get approved. Our visa package is really good, okay? It's not going to get denied. Evidence is the key, ladies and gentlemen, okay? If you submit a package of three emails and four WhatsApp chats for a six-month period, that's not evidence of anything. You know, that's just, that's just laziness on your part, on your part. Okay? We're glad you're with us. We're here for you. Our friends in the Philippines, our friends in Nigeria, our friends in Bangladesh, our friends in India, our friends in Canada, our friends in England, the United Kingdom, our friends in Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Chile, Peru, uh, Argentina. To everybody watching our videos around the world, we appreciate you. 
But we are here for you guys, okay? This YouTube video, well, this YouTube channel is all about you guys and helping you guys join us as you and I and Karina go through this K-1 visa process. It's not easy waiting and waiting and waiting. We understand it's not good. I was separated from Karina for what, four or five months and it sucked, okay? It was horrible. It was horrible. Ooh, oh. We're calling each other every day, an hour, two hours on the phone, into the night. Karina's got to get up for work and we're still talking on the phone and she goes to work tired, okay? It's a difficult process, but we are in the same boat as you guys. We are here for you guys. We will help you. Watch our videos. We're going to guide you from A to Z through the entire visa process, okay? It's not difficult, but it requires a lot of sweat, a lot of work, and a lot of time and a lot of patience, and a lot of patience, okay? Karina and I send our best wishes to you guys out there watching us. We wish you well. If you have any questions about the K-1 visa process, I am so familiar with it. I have got a K-1 visa approved, I've got a K-2 visa approved, I've got a K-3 visa and a K-4 visa approved in the past. I know how to do this, okay? And I didn't need an attorney. I didn't need to pay an attorney all this money to tell me that this is going to be a slow process. I already know. If you hire an attorney, you're going to pay a lot of money. And is your visa going to get adjudicated any quicker? No. It's going to be slow. Okay? We're here for you guys. Hang in there. And we will see you in... Colombia. Colombia.